Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Your One No Land. Today I'm going to be playing some Dragon Blaze. And a lot of progress has been coming through. I finally got Bell to max, and I finally got to Enhancement 9 on my character. I'm currently working on Foxy now. But the thing that's going on in my little box here is that we finally got our choice of trans. I'm going to grab this. I just don't know what trans character I want. So, and it really doesn't matter what I get out of here. So I'll just grab anything. I'll grab a rogue. I'll grab a mage. Yeah, we're gonna grab a mage. Definitely need her, though. What else? Let's grab an archer. Better grab this too. Let's see. Everybody mostly went for Margaret and Black and Hal, which are mostly things I already have. So, I don't know what I want from this. <laughs> I've been thinking about it real hard, but I don't. There's no point in getting blood wins. Since we're going to get him free down the road and ultimate, so... Mm. Not really sure. Especially since I have mostly everything. So I'm guessing I'll probably get Trigger. Let's go for Trigger then. Cause she's really good for bosses for like um Cerberus. Yeah, she's pretty good for Cerberus. Or I can go <laughs> like I said, this is like a real difficult choice. It's like I could go for Hellhawk as well. For like arena purposes. Screw it, let's go for Hellhawk. Oh, and plus we got one of our bonuses figured out. Cool. And we're gonna go for... Do I need a Paladin? I don't think I do. Nah, we're just gonna grab it anyway. Why not? So I've been streaming a lot more often. Don't get used to it because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fall off sooner or later again. I just been streaming a lot more just because I haven't been in like the real like rendering mood. The rendering is really what kills it. Because it takes so long. I might start rendering in um, 720 if anything. I don't really think there's much of a difference between like 1080 and 720. Except for like a little bit of enhancements on like the whole video. I don't really think there's a point. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? There he is just sitting there. Um, Foxy's plus four. I think I can get her to plus five right now. Hold on. Let's go ahead and combine these. Yep, I can. So progress has been going by pretty fast. Uh, <clears throat> I need to lock one of those. Where are you? Oh, do you? I don't even know why I have that anymore. Anything else locked over here that I'm not going to use anymore? Nope. So my voice is a little bit under the weather right now. Just a little bit, you know. Uh, I do apologize about that. But let's go ahead and do our daily dungeons. Yeah, I'm just going to auto do that. <clears throat> but guys, we're making progress. We're moving on through it. It's becoming really easy to get through, which is actually pretty nice. I am kind of curious how all the grade A scrolls, well, request scrolls are going to go. 
I don't think they're going to be real difficult, but you know, you never know. Alright, that's one. Alright, we're done with the second one. I have actually have started to, like, exercise now. You know, I am really sore. It does not feel good to exercise, but, you know, it's worth it. You gotta keep healthy. But, you know, healthiness does not follow me when I eat junk food every day. Well, not every day. Most of the time, I usually eat junk food in, like, one day. Which is not healthy. But, you know, live how you wanna. I still eat healthy now and then, okay? Don't think that I don't eat healthy at all. I'm probably lying to you guys, but you guys will never know. <laughs> Alright, let's get our runes. I probably sound terrible right now, to be honest. Probably sound real terrible to you guys. But for right now, the team I built is pretty strong. I just gotta get them to max and ultimate, then they're gonna be like way stronger. I especially need to work on Foxy. Foxy will probably be the first one I get to ultimate before Bell. Because I just wanted Bell's like max skill first. Just so she can have some extra stats on her summons and you know some of that extra attack speed that for some reason lowers as you level up your character so yeah that's the thing to be honest I think they should have never touched attack speed at least everything else the crit and stuff they fine you can touch that but the attack speed the attack speed should have never been touched I feel like it was fine because we had some good DPS going but now it's kind of feels like we're lacking the DPS we had we were talking about this in one of my streams that about the whole attack speed thing that it pretty much felt like it shouldn't have been touched but in a lot of MMOs they pretty much start dropping stats well a lot of old MMOs started to drop stats basically because people were like doing too much damage and all that so the like higher you level the more your stats drop well, certain stats dropped. Mostly like crit damage and crit chance. Mostly those. There's a few other games that do the whole attack speed drop too. I think Torchlight does it. Pretty sure Torch Torchlight is one of those games who does that when you start leveling up. Alright, sweet. We were getting up there. Alright, cool. We got that. Oh yeah, Fate. Fate the game. Um, that's another game that does that as well. Drops stats as you go. So there's quite a bit of games that does it. Alright, so we're almost done here. Ah, rip the dream. Alright, but we got the 10 on here. Yeah, boom. Alright. Let's see. My highest one right now is still Priest. <laughs> I don't even use any Priest in my freaking teen game. Come on. Uh, what else? Okay, we can do this now. Now that we just upgraded our stats. I am still using the skill uh, 2. Uh, hold up. Right now, I am using, like... My skill page 2, the one I had like set up for like stream, this was aimed more towards like bosses and everything. I changed it this morning. So we're going to see how that goes. Because I was using skill 1 last night. Just the farm. Alright, so we got our whole team here. I don't think we're missing anyone else. I think I did run like a team without... Win I don't know who I'm going to like throw in there. I doubt there's anybody I want to throw in there. Oh, well, actually, yeah, she has magic bullets, 
But is she used no, she's not using the magic bullets. Hold up. I'll take her out. Hmm. Fuck, you use physical, don't you? Yeah. No point in taking you in. I'm sorry, Black. I've been neglecting you. Should I put you in here? I do need to start working on her. Wait, what was that? Oh, okay, he'll attack. I'm pretty sure that one of these runes, I think the priest rune, because we had talked about this in another stream, somebody didn't know what additional like heal over time was. I'm pretty sure any priest, yeah, any priest pretty much adds on a healing effect over time when they heal. Pretty sure that's what it is. Oh yeah, I forgot, like, doesn't have anything. Well, since I really don't use Landy into, like, our little flaming turtle friend, I can just go ahead and throw that on there. Alright, let's get started. And plus, this boss doesn't remove buffs, I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's get started. Let's see how this team does. If this team doesn't do well, I'll probably replace Black back with a uh, Windlift. And we'll see how that goes. We'll see if Windlift's still the master of damage. Yeah, it does look like Win Lu is still the master of damage right now. So if we don't pass this, I might stop it. Or we might give it a more time. Yeah, we're down by quite a bit. Hold up. Let me look at the um look at our previous team that we had for this. Okay. Game. Thank you. Oh my, Cantor is doing so much damage? Alright. Well, she is plus 9, so she better be doing damage. Hold up. So... Yeah, this was my strongest one. Hmm. I wonder. I'll be burning Chagger to be telling me how to build my team. Just waiting for it. It always happens. At this point, I just accepted it. Does it really make a difference, or is it just RNG from the? Does it really make a difference, or is it just RNG from Margaret? Let's see. Hard to tell. Alright, it kinda makes a difference. But it still has like a little bit of RNG for Margaret in there. So yeah. That's what it is. Oh, but I passed my score. It's all good. So it definitely doesn't matter if win lose in there or not. At least until I ultimate the rest of my team, then it won't matter. I can't wait for Prom. I'm pretty sure Prom will probably be like, I don't know, next week maybe? Or give it a week or two? Maintenance tonight, mostly just for like the costumes and everything that's coming out. You know, they're getting ready for Christmas and everything. Which I can't wait for, because some of those costumes look pretty sick. Even though I'm going to use the default weapon as, you know, appearance. Because I really don't like 
the weapon that is on uh, freaking Encanter. I've been trying to save my rubies up, but once this these costumes drop, I I'm not gonna be saving anything apparently. <laughs> oh, she summoned Turk. I could make a full debuff team and bring Howl too. Which I might do in the future, but I'm gonna start working on Turk and get her up. I'm gonna start working on Turk whenever um, I get Foxy done. Because she does seem like really nice. Like, she's not the best character in the world, but if you need like a real good debuff stacker, especially for Howl, then that's probably the best to go. Man, too bad Till has absolute immunity. But you'd be having like so many debuffs on her, but yeah, she's immune to all debuffs, which is actually pretty retarded. Well, one of her skills makes her immune to all debuffs. I see a little bit of bleed damage on her though. Half of the time, she doesn't get any debuffs on her. She'll probably get like one or two, but not a whole bunch. I think the main reason Windlu's doing more damage right now is just because she has a... Um... Oh jeez. Mostly just because she has Ravengill and Bell boosting her damage. Ravengill with her boss damage and me with the boss damage increased. And... Bell with her like normal attack boost. Pretty sure if I had Falcon in this team he'll probably be doing a lot of stuff too. Especially damage boost. Hmm. Sometimes it makes me want to use my priest character sometimes. Just has like a backup healer. I don't think her basics have changed. I don't think she like heals. Like off her, no, I'm pretty sure she did. Or did she? No, it was her abilities that did that. I'm not even sure about her passive anymore. It's been like such a long time. I need to go back and check that. Or maybe they've changed it. I don't know. I'll take a look at it. But to be honest, it's not really necessary when you have encounter, just because she pretty much has a chance of summoning the nurse and she pretty much heals like really nicely but at the same time I'm taking a lot of damage so hopefully one of them summons a healer nope don't rip that's one reason why I'll work on black like down the road Pretty much as we get further into the chapter than when the arc is released, I'm going to focus on one of each of like class. I'm going to focus on a Cantor. I'm going to focus on a Rogue. Then I'm just going to focus down on all of them until I get arc of like each class so I can get ready for the Overlords. That's pretty much my whole strat for that. I mean, some of you guys can find that understandable. And why I would be doing that. Come on, you're almost there. Just just make that 90. No. Guys. Alright, Winlu. It's all up to you now. Which I'm pretty sure you won't make it here, but, you know, get in those extra points while you can. <laughs> so, guys, we'll be right back. Because she's probably going to take a while, or whenever she dies. Alright, she is down. It didn't really take all that long. So my cancer did the most damage. <laughs> uh my. What happened guys? How am I doing the most damage now? I feel so powerful now. Alright, what is is next? I'm pretty sure arena. Yep. Let's do some arena matches and end off the video. I guess we'll keep going into like, let's say, 30 minutes. All right, let's do this. Yeah, 
Yep, you didn't kill nobody, buddy. Get out of here. No gray souls allowed. Oh god, there's another gray soul. See, I'm jinxing things. Alright, this should be easy. I never got why people heavily focus down on, like, rogues for PvP. I don't think that ever works out. Because you do need, like, some buffers in there just to at least balance it out. Oh yeah, I forgot to change back my, um, skill page. I need to stop this. Because that skill page is definitely going to help us out. More than this in PvP. Unless these characters are counting as boss types. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Whoops, wrong way. Alright, let's see if that's better. Uh, well, can't really say that's much better for them. <laughs> Considering that was just basically a one shot, but she had no enhancements. Yeah, somewhat better. Can't really tell. Alright, this one I should be able to tell a lot better. Ah, oh, never mind, I just noticed they're rogues. Maybe not so much better. I noticed Graceful really doesn't get that chance to like auto kill things, especially in like a group <laughs> battle. Instead of t like tag. Nah, those one shots, are like insta kills, are pretty much easy to grab. And Arena is just like, nah, nah. Alright, so Black's gonna come back to live. Alright, so see, that's another reason why Mika's actually good. Okay. I see, because she can, like, pause everybody, give, an, give Black enough time to come back. Alright, somebody found a use for her. Not bad. I like that strat. Like I've always said, you can find a use for a character, but when you first see a character that just seems useless all around, unless you find an actual comp that works with her. Or with any character. Alright. Jesus, we are actually really mowing through this. Just wait until we get to the top again. Right now, we've always been able to get to like the top 1%, which has actually been pretty nice. Not bad with just like this standard team. This team I've been using like ever since HAL came out. Yeah, ever since HAL and Margaret came out. With a little bit of a replacement with Till. I was about to say, she needs a little bit of instability. So, I will probably put uh, Falcon in here. Just to keep her safe a little bit longer. Just so she can get her fidget spinner and start killing everybody. Because once Gayla starts going and starts getting her freaking fidget spinner spinning on her face, then it's pretty much over. You can call that a dub. Yep, there she goes. Fidget spinner already spinning on her face. Too bad we got invisibility over here, buddy. Because Margaret's invisibility will chance of invisibility from her buffs. Sometimes you can love her random buffs, sometimes you can't. <laughs> Alright, next. I 
that are Mika. Bad Gala won't be coming back. That's probably the only one I probably would have been scared of inside of this. Alright, we're getting some not really powerful people in here. Oh yeah, I did change my formation, didn't I? Yeah, I'm using fire support again. Even though I should be using a random damage one, maybe. Man, not for this team. Because we got more, like, physical damagers right here. These guys are just support and buffers. I have till more of just the shields. Because the shields have been helping. And her buffs to Margaret and me. I actually think about my team comp a little bit. No, not all the time, but, you know, a little bit. These two are just here to ditch out a lot of damage. Hal is mostly to keep random things from coming back to life. Especially having the chance of getting that one person I hate out. Like Black, so she won't be coming back. But she's not max anyway, so I don't have to really worry about her. Alright. That's mainly the reason why I carry Hal. Winlu is just here because she she does a lot of damage. She does the same damage inside of PvP. Not only that, she just Oh. No. Oh. Thanks. Thanks for doing that. Can you, can you not? Not only that, when she starts off, she pretty much gets that 100 percent crit. And plus, she actually heals herself each time she attacks, so... Yeah, she pretty much sustains herself and deals out a lot of damage. Sorry, no fidget spinner for you. Alright guys, we're probably going to wrap this up real soon. We're going to do like two or three more. And yeah, let's do three more. And we'll wrap it up. Too bad you guys can't see me get to the 1%. I just don't want this video to be like too long. I was thinking about streaming it today. But I was like, nah, I need to get back into like the video and the editing. Alright, this could be a tough team. Because he actually went with the strat I would go with. Especially for like Gala keeping her safe a little bit longer before. She... So she could get her position spinner. But apparently that did not work out. Oh, I've got the. Some Kamel. I was looking up here. I wasn't paying attention. It's all good. Alright. I just don't like auto summoning. Auto summoning is like really annoying. Especially if she's the first one to die. I do love summon arena like backgrounds. They look amazing. Okay, this is our last one. Got it. Take that off. Game. Oh, I was about to say. I'm just turning on the auto recall just because 
I am going to need it. Because I'm about to auto this. Alright. Alright guys, hope you all enjoyed another video of Dragon Blaze. I will see you guys on Friday, because you guys know, as always, my videos are Tuesday and Friday of Dragon Blaze. <clears throat> Boys, please work with me here. So, I'll see you guys next time. Till then, peace out.